Hey friends, welcome back to Building with Miss B. Today we're going over how to multiply with mixed numbers. Let's go. So first things first, this is a mixed number. It has a whole number mixed with a fraction. So in order to multiply or divide with a number that looks like this, a mixed number, we have to turn it into an improper fraction. Improper means that big number is going to be on top and the small number is going to be the denominator. So let's go ahead and change this mixed number into an improper fraction. With that, I'm going to do the reverse C method. So see how it looks like the letter C? So I'm going to multiply the six and the three, which is 18, and then add the left over two. So 18 plus two is going to give me 20. And then I keep that same denominator. So our improper fraction is going to be 20 over three. Now let's actually multiply with a mixed number. So my first problem, I have seven eighths times three and one quarter. So I'm going to go ahead and keep my seven eighth, multiply, and then I'm going to do the reverse C method to turn my mixed number into a fraction. So I'm gonna do three times four, 12, plus one gives me 13. So I'm gonna have 13, keep that denominator, four, and then I'm gonna multiply across like normal. So seven times 13, I'm gonna go ahead and solve that up here. So times up, I'm gonna get 21, times diagonal, it's gonna be seven, plus two is gonna give me nine. So I'm gonna have 91 over, eight times four is 32. So now for this one, I am going to simplify, turning it back into a mixed number. We just can't multiply with the mixed number. So 32 goes into 91, say three, six, not quite three times. So let's do two and that's gonna give me 64. Now I need to find, can't do that. That's going to be eight, 11, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven. 8 take away 6 gives me 2 so I'm gonna have 27 over 32 and that is my final answer let's go ahead do another one so in this equation I have two mixed numbers that I need to turn into improper fractions in order to multiply them so I'm gonna go ahead reverse C this one 3 times 6 is 18 plus that 2 is going to give me 20 but I keep that same denominator which is 3 times. Now let's do the same thing for this one. So 10 times 3 is 30 plus that leftover 3 up top gives me 33, keeping the denominator 10. Now from here I can actually simplify. So I do not have to times these big old numbers, but in order to simplify I have to simplify across. So I can see 10 and 20 are both divisible by 10. So 10 can go into 10 one time, 10 can go into 20 two times. I can even simplify the other numbers that are diagonal. 3 can go into 3 one time, and 3 can go into 33 11 times. So my new equation I'll write down at the bottom would be 2 over 1 times 11 over 1. That's the simplified version, and I can just multiply across. 11 times 2 is 22, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 goes into 22, 22 times, and that is our final answer. Now, if you did not want to simplify across first, you can multiply these, you're just going to get really big numbers, and from there you will simplify, and you'll end up getting the same thing. But when you're multiplying two really big numbers, most likely you can simplify across. Now, it is always across that they have to match up, okay? And there's a quick review for how to multiply with mixed numbers. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.